Hello there. Oh, oh. Senpai, can I be your friend? Thanks for watching for me today. I'm a little camera shy. <laughs> What's up everyone? Lately I've been uploading an awful lot of silk moth videos. But the video that we are going to have today is going to be one for Team Arctine, the tiger moth lovers. It's still one of my favorite families. Uh, although I've been studying silk moth a bit more lately. But um, what we have here is uh, Estigmene acraea also known as the salt marsh uh, moth. Now the salt marsh moth is a medium sized or even big if you wanna if you wanna say it a species of tiger moth found in uh, North America and they have a huge distribution even from Canada up to Texas uh, to Florida spanning even uh, a lot of different climates and the salt marsh moth, despite its name, is not affiliated with marshes. Uh, it got its name because there is a grass in America called salt marsh grass. And this grass is commonly farmed uh, as, uh, for hay, for livestock. Oh great, the baby boomers are starting to work in their gardens again, ruining my audio. Anyway, uh, this salt marsh grass is often farmed by uh, farmers who want to uh, make hay from it for their livestock. But it also happens to be one of the favorite food plants of the caterpillars. And because the caterpillars so commonly eat salt marsh grass, the moth was dubbed the salt marsh moth. So, um, it's basically because they like eating one type of grass called salt marsh grass. In reality they have many food plants though. Um, some of their favorites are uh, cassia, but also uh, certain types of mallow uh, from the Malvasea family. Uh, cherries, prunus and really a lot of plants to be honest, they're quite polyphagous. And these salt marsh moths, they uh, have a quite variable appearance. Uh, I mean, all of them are white, but the black specks on their wings, they can be somewhat variable. I have a lot of cocoons of this species right here, and uh, I hope to have some pairings. As you can see, it has adorable uh, legs. Oops, it's trying to crawl away from me now. But I just really love how the legs have stripes. One thing I also find very interesting is the abdomen. As you can see, it's uh, yellow, it has a beautiful color. Now, usually I don't handle moths like this, but uh, it's okay to do it for a few seconds, it doesn't harm them. And the uh, yellow abdomen basically uh, warns predators of the fact that uh, these moths are mildly toxic. They are toxic because they can sequester from their food plants uh, toxic compounds like alkaloids, effectively making the moth also toxic in the process. So predators wouldn't really want to eat this one. Oops. Understandably she's a little bit upset. Uh, right now I'm smelling a very strong bitter smell. And I believe this, uh, the female just may have released some chemicals. You know, uh, if you've ever handled a ladybug, then uh, it's almost exactly the same smell. Like that bitter, bitter chemical insect smell. Aha, and it seems that they can also play dead. Thanks for watching and goodbye. 
I got a whole lot of cocoons of very interesting species of tiger moths. So, if you like them, follow my YouTube channel and you will see a lot of cool uh, species in a short time.